Hello guys, welcome back. This is a new Radio Master TX16S transmitter with Hall sensor gimbals and an internal 2.4 GHz 16 channel multi protocol module. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at this radio. We are also going to compare it with the common FreeSky transmitters, and of course, I'm going to show you how to flash it with the latest OpenTX and multi protocol firmware version. This is a box of the Radio Master TX16S. But before we are going to unbox it, I would like to share my first impression of this radio with you. Therefore, I first quickly want to show you the radios I'm presently using for flying FPV drones. So that you can get a better impression about how the Radio Master looks compared to other common radios. The first radio I want to show you for comparison is the FreeSky Tyrannus X9D Plus that I have been using for years now. And this is how this radio and also the menu screen looks like. The next radio I'm using at the moment is a new FreeSky Tyrannus X9D Plus 2019 with some upgrade parts and the FreeSky R9M module. We just switch it on to have a short look at the display of this radio too. And last not least, this is a new 2020 model of the FreeSky Tyrannus QX7S. This radio has some nice rubber gripping areas on both sides. Now we also take a short look at the screen. By the way, all internal modules of these radios are only compatible with FreeSky receivers. So now you hopefully got a short impression about my transmitters that I'm currently using for flying FPV drones. But now we are going to get the Radio Master TX16S out of its box, so that you can get your first impression about this transmitter. The Radio Master comes in a protective case and with a quick start guide. And here it is, the Radio Master TX16S. The box of the TX16S also contains a pretty cool keychain, return springs for the throttle gimbal and a USB-C cable. But let's come back to the Radio Master TX16S transmitter. The TX16S comes with full size hall sensor gimbals that are feeling a bit softer compared to my other radios at the first sight but it's probably possible to change the spring tension. The case of the TX16S is made of plastic with a hard rubber gripping area on both sides. At the back side we can find the battery bay and a full size module bay. At the bottom we can find two external UART ports, the USB charging port and the SD card slot. And surprisingly the SD card is already included. On the top side we find a DSC trainer port as well as a USB-C PC connection port. Next we're going to switch on the Radio Master TX16S. For this we need to add two Li Eon 18350 batteries into the supplied battery tray. The batteries are not included. Make sure to use the right batteries if you want to use the internal battery charger over the USB charging port. The batteries are inserted and now we can switch on the Radio Master TX16S. And now the Radio Master welcomes us to OpenTX. And at this moment I was very impressed by the huge, full colored high definition display. I have never seen anything like this before on a transmitter. That was the reason why I was showing you my other radios, so that you hopefully can understand how I was feeling after switching on the Radio Master TX16S for the first time. I'm still pretty impressed by the screen and this radio is even touchscreen ready. So keep that in mind, this is the future. Compared to the Radio Master, the displays of my other radios are looking like the screen of a Nintendo Game Boy from the 90s. 
I'm now entering and paging through the radio and the model setup menu by long pressing the corresponding system or model button, just to show you more about this impressive screen. The OpenTX menu is pretty the same as on my other radios, but it looks so much better on this one. Now on the model setup menu, I'm scrolling with the menu wheel down to the internal RF. And here we can find the internal multi-protocol module. That offers the option to bind apparently almost every known receiver and open source receiver protocol. Protocols I've never heard about before, there's even a corona protocol, whatever it is, but that's a bit weird at this time. So as you can see, we are able to bind probably more protocols than ever needed. Except for the new FreeSky Access protocol, which is encrypted and not an open source protocol. But of course, the common D16 and D8 FreeSky ACCST protocol is available in the FCC and EU LBT option. Now we take a short look at the quick start guide. Here we can find information about where to get the latest firmware and that's what we are doing next. We also get a detailed remote control overview with information about all switches and further more detailed specifications. But now as suggested in the quick start guide, I have visited radiomasterrc.com in order to download the latest firmware version. Here we can find the link to the OpenTX website to download the latest version of OpenTX and the corresponding SD card content. We are also getting a link to multimodule.org for downloading the latest firmware for the internal RF. Select your radio, the latest firmware version, the channel order if you are not using the default one and then click on the firmware file in order to save the file on your PC. Next we need to switch on the radio master by pressing the power button and the left and the right trim switches inwards at the same time. Then we can connect the TX16S over the USB PC connection port with the computer. Then we can copy the multi protocol firmware file into the firmware folder of the radio master TX16S SD card. Next, we need to run OpenTX Companion that we have downloaded before. Here we need to go to settings in order to select our radio. Also make sure to select the right SD card structure path. Now you can download the firmware in order to write it to your radio. If that is done, we can see the new firmware version in the radio version menu. Welcome to OpenTX. In the model setup menu, we can see that OpenTX recommends updating the internal module. Therefore, we need to enter the radio setup menu in order to select the multi-protocol firmware file that we have placed in the firmware folder of the SD card. Press the wheel button and select flash internal multi. Now our radio master TX16S is updated to the latest firmware. By the way, we can also use different additional external modules like the FreeSky R9M. But here we also won't get the new FreeSky Access protocol. We only get the open source ACC ST protocol with the EU and FCC option. Don't worry if you couldn't follow these steps. You will find some more detailed videos on my channel about how to flash OpenTX and even how to set up your radio. 
What's your first impression about the new Radio Master TX16S? I'm very curious about your opinion. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.